Hello, it's Aga from Arvis Artist. Today I'd love to talk with you about money in Arvis. Sounds good? I hope so. Let's begin. Money is such a big topic and today I only want to start a conversation about this. However, I'm going to do a webinar where we spend more time on this. We will talk how to price Arvis projects and how much do we earn per project. So if you are in, sign up now. I put the link in the corner and in the description below. Okay, so money is considered to be difficult, almost taboo subject for most of us. Why? I think it's probably because of our beliefs about making money. So let's dive in a bit into this topic. Today, I'd love to talk with you about the business side of Arvis. Is creating images, animations your passion? If so, that's really great. I'm so happy to hear that. But Arvis, even though it's an art form, which sounds pretty cool, it's also a business, which probably sounds less fancy for most of you. It means that you need to do the same things like in any other industry to grow your profit and business. You can be the greatest and the most talented artist in the world, but if you don't have skills to communicate with your client, manage projects or understanding of companies' finances, even if you think that you earn a lot, you don't use your full potential. And you will never find out what your potential is if you don't use this knowledge and skills. And you need to understand that passion is not enough to make good money. You can be passionate about everything, but without looking at this from the business perspective, you don't earn much. And it applies to everything, not only to Arvis. So what then? If you want to make good money, you need to start to think as a business person, so you need to think how to monetize your work. There are so many great, talented artists around, and most of them don't earn as much as they could. And you might say now, that's fine, but I'm an artist, I don't care about money. That's totally fine. It's your life and you should do what you want. But just be aware that if you don't look at your job from the business side, creating images will be only your passion. And if you feel that it's your path, I'm truly happy for you. But just remember to not complain where next time you cannot do something because you don't have enough money. There are so many opportunities around, so many options. You just need to start to look at your situation from different perspectives. And wait, I can hear your voice. Aga, I'm from the third world country and I cannot earn much there. And sure, I understand. But let me ask a few questions. Have you ever truly tried to solve this problem? Have you ever tried to thought about this as an advantage? The thing is that if you live in a poor country where the salaries are low, living is also cheaper than in others, more developed countries. So why not to look for the client from richer countries and earn a few times more than in your country and still have low living expenses? We live in the internet age. It has never been easier than now. But there is one condition here you need to be prepared for these opportunities. What I mean by this is if you don't put enough work into this, you don't earn much money. Basically, you need to prove to the market that you are worth the price. What does it mean? You need to work harder than others. You need to do more images than others. Practice on a day-to-day -day basis. Perhaps if you are an employee, you need to do extra images after work. Train yourself, invest in yourself. And again, I can hear you saying, Aga, are you crazy? How much more can I do? 
I already spend so much time at work. I have a family to take care of. Have you ever heard about the virus situation? Besides, nobody else spends so much time on this. There is a great quote of the Polish writer. Those who want, look for ways to do it. Those who don't want, look for reasons why not to do it. If you want to grow, stop making excuses. Start to look for solutions. We all have troubles and I think it's cool life. And you're right saying that most people don't spend so much time on this. It's because humans are so good at making excuses and feeling sorry for themselves instead of actually doing anything to make their life easier and better. And most people want to put minimal effort and get lots of out of this. And to be clear, if you like this way of thinking and you don't want to put extra effort, you like your life and you are happy, go for it. I'm really happy for you. But stop complaining that somebody else has easier or better life or whatever. So my point is that if you want to earn great money, you need to be in the group of people who work hard, don't look for excuses and execute their goals. Put 100% effort to achieve it. So to sum up, if you don't try, you have 100% chance that you don't get anything. But if you do, what can you lose? In the worst case scenario, you will be in the same place. It's your life and the choice is yours. But remember that the greatest enemy for you is you. The goal of this video is to show you your potential and opportunities you have. I want to motivate you and start a conversation with you. At the end, I'd love to remind you about the webinar I've mentioned at the beginning. So if you want to know how to quote your projects and how do we do this, join the training. Click here for more details. Bye-bye!